Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video you're going to discover what our beautiful planet Earth is going to look like if all of this ice disappears, turns into water, and increases the water level in our oceans. This is the first part in the climate change videos I'm going to be making, and hopefully you learn something from this video. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So this is actually a request that's been made by many many people, a lot of people want to know so what exactly is going to happen with our planet earth and you know, what exactly can we do about it and most importantly, what is it going to look like in Universe Sandbox, which is what we're going to be doing today. So there's actually a simulation here known as the uh, climate simulation, if you type climate, it will come up right away. In this simulation, you're actually looking at the planet Earth with very realistic ice caps that move in and move out depending on the season. And you can also go under climate and play around with different values. Like for example, under here, you can change the amount of greenhouse gases and you can essentially play around with um, different scenarios like pre-industrial uh, gases, which I think you can do by clicking this right here. This will turn into pre-industrial or you can basically go for 2010 levels or for parts per um, million of volume. Now this is what we're going to focus on. So this number right here is how much carbon you can have in a certain amount of volume. Now the actual unit is kind of difficult to explain so we're not going to do this right now. We're going to do this in one of the future videos. But for now what you need to know is um, this number is around like 360-ish right now. Used to be 280 in the pre-industrial era, in other words, in um, like 18th century, and we think that it's increasing by about two every single year, which is something that we've uh, been able to actually show scientifically until certain politicians decided to hide it from us. Anyway, let's not go get into politics. What's really, really scary though is that at 600, this is when you'll start feeling sick. You'll actually won't be able to breathe very well. At like a thousand you'll very likely uh, feel super sick after just a few hours of living on such a planet. And we think that by about uh, the year 2100, this might be actually around 550. So this might change to 550, where you'll still be able to live, you'll still be able to breathe, but things will actually change on our planet Earth, and specifically the climate and the temperature will start changing. So here, as you'll notice, um, a lot of the uh, a lot of the ice is actually going to disappear in the summer completely so so right around now you can see that antarctica is almost completely emptied and when this happens obviously this ice has to go somewhere it will probably turn into liquid water fill the earth and the water level will actually increase now we're going to assume the worst we're going to assume that all of the ice on our earth melts as a result of the carbon dioxide, as a result of the so-called greenhouse gases. And if this happens, things on our planet will start shifting. So let's start with the North America here. What do you think this will look like when there is basically no ice left and when um, essentially the water levels increase? So let's uh, go under the materials here and we're going to increase this by the maximum possible number. So if you were to melt all of the ice on Earth, uh, the total volume uh, of water would increase by about 30 million uh, cubic kilometers. This is equivalent to increasing this by about 0.4 right here. So, sorry, from uh, 35 to about 39. 1.39 times 10 to the power of 21. And this is what it's going to look like. So, as soon as I start the simulation, you will notice that all of the water levels will now have shifted. So you can kind of see that the actual borders of North America have dr uh, changed dramatically. So let me just show you again. So this is what it was like before. And this is what it's going to be like after all of the ice melts. So say goodbye to Florida, because you know what? It's Florida. It always causes trouble. And also a lot of these parts will change as well. What about South America? Let's take a look at South America. So here's South America today, and here's South America with all of the ice gone and all of the water replacing stuff. 
Brazil has decreased in size dramatically and so did Argentina. The other countries didn't suffer as much because there's a lot of uh, higher ground level there uh, that can basically um, survive the increase in water levels. Let's go to Africa. And so here's Africa before and Africa right after all of the ice melts will look like this. Just a little bit of a change here and there. Egypt will kind of separate into these uh, different regions uh, and I think Libya will actually lose a big part of it as well. But uh, for the most part, it will not change dramatically. Europe, however, will change quite a lot. So here is what Europe will actually look like with and without the ice caps. So let me just uh, change this to daylight again. And we're going to take a look at it as soon as it's bright enough. So you're looking for countries like England, for example, and maybe some of the other countries here along the coast as well. So watch what happens as soon as I change this to melting all of the ice caps. Boom. This is a dramatic change. Europe is going to be affected dramatically by this. England essentially lost, or the UK essentially lost like half of its land. Uh, the other countries suffered just as much because this is what it used to be like. And this is what it's going to be like if there is absolutely no ice left and all of the ice caps melt. Boom. Okay, let's go uh, to the Middle East and India here uh, and take a look at this as well. So before, after, and one more time, this is what it looks like before. So India will definitely be affected dramatically as well. Here is uh, East Asia with China and Korea and Japan right there. So we're going to do this as well for these countries just to see how much they change. And you can see that Japan, China and Korea are affected dramatically. And ironically, China is actually the country that creates a huge amount of this pollution. A huge amount of CO2 and essentially greenhouse gases comes from China. And I think it's actually from this region that is now underwater. And a lot of it is also here as well. And so anyway, so clearly a huge, huge dramatic effect with a lot of land completely lost. And also let's take a look at Australia and Indonesia and Malaysia here. So we're going to do the same thing. Uh, change the levels and you can see that Australia actually gets a kind of a cool lake in the middle here that's because this is below um, below the level of water now so it's going to be right in the middle of Australia but for the most part uh, it's not really looking too good for these countries as well with Indonesia specifically losing a lot of its islands and a lot of its land as well ironically one country completely unaffected or almost completely unaffected by this is the New Zealand check this out New Zealand barely changes at all and well, so that's essentially how the world will change if suddenly all of these ice caps were to melt and to increase the water levels and to basically uh, make Earth look a little bit different. Now, it might not seem like extreme, but the actual um, changes in uh, the surface area of our planet Earth would be affected dramatically. And not only would this increase the temperature and change the climate and increase the um, the amount and frequency of natural disasters like tornadoes and hurricanes, it would also obviously affect various types of life and uh, especially life in the ocean. So things would go extinct, things would uh, change dramatically, and it's very likely that humanity would not be able to deal with it very well. So this is the face of Earth if the ice disappears. Except, of course, there's ice left here, but that's because I didn't really disable it. And I don't actually know how. Anyway, so there we go. Hopefully you learned something from this video and hopefully now you understand that the climate change is a kind of a big deal. It's sort of scary, you know, because you might have to live in the water. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Come back tomorrow to learn something completely different and possibly watch me play a video game. Space out, give you later, and as always, bye bye. And let's pretend that Earth somehow got even more water from asteroids and became a kind of a cool looking water world. Look at that, Australia's lake has increased in size even more. Let's actually increase this dramatically. Can I make this super, super big? Oh, look at that. Now the Earth looks nothing like it did before. This is crazy. This is a new world of water. And North America is just a mountain range.